November in southern Sweden. Probably the most not inspirational month of the whole year. It's all cold, grey, flat, and misty. I wanted to challenge myself. I want to capture good images in not so good conditions. But to up my chances of good light, I choose the one day of the month with a clear sky. So I better not fail today. My plan for today, this, this morning at least, is to go with the car around the area to see if I can find anything. It's a lazy way of photography, but it's actually a really good way of finding new spots and instead of just walking. Because when the sun is starting to rise, it, it rises very quickly and I can be able to cover more places than if I would walk. But if I find a beautiful forest or something, I will definitely go on a short hike, <laughs> but we'll see. So when photographing in this boring month of November, I think looking for small details and such is a great idea because I have don't have any cool landscapes or any colors at all actually, just boring and flat. We'll see what we can find. It's quite hard getting a cool composition, but I'll try. I think I found a okay composition. We have a simple line of rocks here and the light is coming in this direction here. I think I'll brighten up this part in post to enhance the, the light coming in and darken the, the side here. We'll see. So the shutter speed is 1 15th of a second. I set a self timer on three seconds because when I press the shutter, it will make a little wobble because the shutter speed is so low. And I set the aperture to f4 because I want this stone and the background to be in focus. Let's snap the image. I think I need a different perspective. Give me one minute. I want a higher perspective. I need to come up a bit. So I'm gonna use the, the tripod here. But how am I gonna trigger this one? Yeah, I have an idea. I'm gonna use this one, which is, as you see here, this is a beautiful selfie. I can snap an image with this remote here. So, okay, this will do, I think. Let's go. This is actually pretty cool. I just need to figure out somehow to get the horizon level right because I don't see the screen. And they actually have a screen here that you can put into the phone and just snap to this holder here for you to see yourself when you vlog. I need a longer USB-C cable, then I can actually remote shoot and use the, the monitors to see the screen. I visited this area 
in spring. And it's such a huge difference from now. It's all dead and flat, <laughs> but that's part of the challenge. So I have a small little river, or what do you call it? Flow. What's the English word for beck? Stream. Okay, let's not drop anything here. Okay, so I found a composition I really like. And I want the, uh, the water to really have this flowy kind of feel to it in the photo. And uh, how I can get this is to put down the shutter speed to around here. You could do like, like 4 to 30 seconds. But the problem is, as you see, the, the photo is turning white. So in this case, I think if I put it right around here, I'll get some effect but it's still overexposed. So I'll put up the aperture to F4. And that is a really handy feature on the phone. One eighth of a second. And I'll put the regular self timer on to not get the, the wobble from me pressing the shutter. Auto work balance. And I shoot in raw plus JPEG. So I, I get both files. Um, let's take the image. So after reviewing the shot, I'm really happy with it. I think the uh, composition turned out really well and the image quality of this thing is it's really good. And I changed the uh, white balance to cloudy and the water turned out really blue and the moss is really green. And I really like how that plays together. I will put a link down in the description where I put up the photos for you to see in full resolution. And I'll see you in a couple of hours. This is the first time for me being out in this area. And uh, I must say, I'm uh, quite surprised how dense and how beautiful it is. The little stream here is really nice. So I hope we can find a uh, composition somewhere. Let's do not fall here. I need to show you this. Wow. It's actually a small cliff with a lot of moss on it and the stream going in between. I'm going to show you. Look at that.
So I've had a great day today with the Xperia Pro I. It's uh, such a beast of a phone and <laughs> it's incredible the quality you can get out of the phone. Like the images turn out like they do on a like DSLR or a um, compact camera and not like they usually do on a phone. And what I really like about it is the way you can work with the photos. Like you don't have a trashed photo of like over sharpened, over processed from the camera itself. I think the, the raw photos turn out great, but the JPEGs, they are so good. They are processed as they are JPEGs, but they're not over processed. They're not over sharpened and you don't have like that digital kind of mobile feeling when you zoom into it. I'm really impressed by it. I think using this for long exposures was something I haven't done before and such a nice experience. So uh, what do you think of the photos? Tell me down in the pho photos. Pho Tell me down in the comments what do you think of the photos? A couple of days ago I posted this photo. I was out driving on a forest road and I look in the rear view mirror and I see this incredible light shining through with fog and I just had to capture it. And luckily I had this with me, so I captured that image and I was so happy with it. You can see that image and all the photos I took today in full resolution uh, if you follow the link down in the description. So I want to say a huge thanks to you for watching this far into the video and following me on this daily adventure and have a good one. Bye.